Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So I had a question for you. All the hype about the new iPhone, the 4-inch iPhone, there's actually been some leaks out as well. Why would Apple go back to a 4-inch iPhone? Now one thing's for certain, we know that they're not going to be cheap. I shouldn't say cheap. They're not going to be low in cost. Rumor mail is about $500, but they said the same thing about the iPhone C. Uh, I think it was uh, the iPhone 5C or something like that. That phone was still ridiculously priced as well, I think, for what it was offering. Now, this new iPhone that comes in at a 4-inch screen is going to have the body of the iPhone 6, basically, uh, and in a smaller package. Now, I think it's going to probably look pretty cool, but is Apple really going to charge $500 for this? You know, they'll probably have a 16-gig or an 8-gig model and charge in $499 for the 8-gig. Who knows? I don't know. It's all rumors right now. But I can tell you this. Uh, it would be a very cool to see such a small iPhone. Uh, very intrigued by that. Uh, now, I obviously use iOS devices, but my primary devices are Android devices, Nexus to be exact. Uh, but the Apple iPhone has always impressed me. I've never had any bad experiences with the iPhones except for breaking them. We've broken maybe three of them and had to get them replaced. But are you intrigued by a 4-inch iPhone? with the body of uh, the iPhone 6 and 6S Plus, or, you know, 6S, I'm sorry, that style, that rounded corner style, are you impressed with that type of device, uh, the body of that, in a 4-inch package? More importantly, why is Apple going backwards, I guess? I don't, it, it just feels like they're going backwards. Now, I know that there's a lot of people on the market who still use an iPhone 4S. Really, there are people out there still using that small screen uh, because it suits their needs. And I think Apple's... Uh, uh, making a smart choice by um, opening up their market, I'll say, because they only have a few phones out, so they don't have to compete with trying to uh, update all these separate phones. But one thing's for sure, there will be people who buy it. It will sell like hotcakes solely because, based on some of the comments that I've seen on plenty of forums, people don't want a 5-inch, 5.5-inch. Some people even thought the 4.7-inch was too big. I don't understand that one. But 4 inches on the phone is going to be plenty small. We still have iPhone 5S's in our house, and they just seem like little tiny toys when I put it next to my iPhone 6S Plus. Or even the iPhone 6S. Uh, that phone is a good size, so I don't know how that's going to feel typing and texting on a 4-inch iPhone. Nonetheless, we can look for something in March. Hopefully, we should see something going on with this device. And I think it's going to be... Exciting to say the least. I want to see the back of the device. I want to see the entire design of the device And that's the part I hate about waiting when I hate these rumors. It's like uh, I want to see what's actually gonna happen with it So what do you think about the new rumored 4-inch iPhone? What is it gonna be called the iPhone 5 SE or the iPhone 7 C? I don't know All I know is there's a nice picture that leaked out and it looks legit to me um, It's about this big and it's basically the body of the iPhone 6. I think it's going to look pretty cool actually. So I'm actually looking forward to reviewing it. If I can get my hands on one, I'll buy one and replace an iPhone 5S in the house. Uh, it won't be for me obviously, but it can definitely be something to replace the iPhone 5S. I think that'll be a good thing. So Shaman J, we all want to give you an update on that. I've been, these rumors are starting to really build up and we're looking at about March if uh, we see an announcement for that. Hopefully, uh, but again, it's just a rumor. So normally I think Apple releases phones in September, uh, but maybe they'll do something special and give us this 4-inch iPhone a little sooner than later. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.